Hello, iPlanners. I hope you're all having an outstanding day. If you're new here, my name is Sandy Cruz, and I am the creator of the first ever digital planner called the iPlanner that was born in 2012, and it has improved and morphed, and I think it's perfected now because it's been in the making for 10 years. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is multitasking on your iPad and that is by using the split screen view and what I use this view for and this is so cool and a lot of you probably have already done this but I'm for those of you that haven't I'm going to show you how to set it up. Um, what I do, and, and I mentioned in the Facebook group, if you're in the Facebook group, you already know that I'm enrolled in dozens and dozens of courses, and um, I forget that I'm in the, enrolled in these courses, and I've made a spreadsheet inside my planner that's linked to all my classes now, and I can just access them on my iPad, and what I do is I watch the class on the left side of my screen, and I take notes on the right side, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and for that, I'm going to use the free course that's available on the HeySandyCruz.com website, and you can sign up for it completely free, and for those of you that are already enrolled, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but it comes with a notebook. And this notebook is exactly, well, not exactly, but it is just like the eye planner. Everything, the, the tabs on the top, down the side, the spiral, everything is the same, except there aren't any planning tools in it. So there's no calendar, there's no um, weekly spreads or anything like that. Of course, if you wanted to, you could naturally, you could, you could add widgets and make it into a planner if you wanted to. But this notebook was basically designed to take you through the course and give you a spot where you could take notes and access the course right from the notebook, straight from the notebook. And you can also add some of your own courses to the notebook. So you could just make this your all around, you know, any YouTube channels that you want to save or YouTube videos you want to save, you can add them to the notebook. And you'll learn all of this in the course because I teach you how to link videos and website URLs to your planner. I teach you how to uh, uh, label your, your top tabs and how to navigate and how to add pages and just there's so much this class is really packed full there are so far there's 11 videos and I'm adding to it consistently and this is how I'm adding to it so check back often if you're already enrolled or if you enroll sometime in the near future so what I'm doing is when I add to it I go ahead like the last version was six, um, video six, and then I've added a video and I have named that video six B. And then the titles are always off to the side of the video. So you know which video you're going to view. All right. So on this page, once you're enrolled and you can enroll on the HeySandyCruz.com website, you'll see right here, free course. Go ahead and tap that and get enrolled and then watch your email because your email is going to take you right to the classroom. So this is where you're going to land when you check your email and, and hit the link to the classroom. This is where you're going to land and here you have options to join the iDay Facebook group. And iDay is the holiday right after Black Friday where we all get together and we set up our new digital planners for the upcoming year. So we do that. We celebrate that every year. And you can go back to that, that Facebook group and see the comments. We had drawings and giveaways. And I was live on there every day because it was three days. And the lessons are also on the group. So if you want to go watch them there, if you have any questions for me, shoot over there and, and communicate with me. Ask me anything over there. And we also have an iPlanner Facebook group. So if you're not on that group, get on that group because there's almost 6,000 of us in there that are inspiring and helping and supporting one another. So if you have any questions about digital planning, um, good notes, things like that, shoot over there and, and talk to us over there. There's... Uh, 
enough of us over there to where somebody can answer your question because it's it's peer to peer you know we're all doing the same thing over there we're all trying to learn and get through this and inspire each other so that is the first thing that you're going to come across on the classroom the next place you're going to come to and this is my favorite you're going to love this notebook you want to get your hands on this notebook okay so you can get it in either a good notes version or a pdf version you can naturally import the PDF into GoodNotes, but if you're on your iPlanner and you're already using GoodNotes, go ahead and download the GoodNotes uh, file. You won't need the PDF in that case, but if you're using another note-taking app, then go ahead and download the uh, PDF version. All right, so let's go ahead and do that so I can show you how this is done. So I'm going to tap on the Good Notes file, and then of course this window pops up. I'm going to tap Download, and real fast, real quick, it downloads to the Downloads section. And when you see this arrow jump, that's when you know it's ready. So I'm going to tap on that, and as you can see, I've downloaded it a few times. So I'll just tap on the most recent one, and I'll go ahead and tap on it in my Downloads folder and open the folder and this is the file and by the way the downloads folder unzipped that for me as soon as I tap the zip file so it's unzipped now and here's the file that you want to import I'm just going to tap it and now I want to tap the share box scroll down to open in good notes and now if I'm going to import it as a new document. If you have a document already open in GoodNotes, it'll ask you if you want to add it to it. And I always like to import as a new document, so I'm going to tap that. And here we are. The notebook is open. By the way, the uh, GoodNotes version, you can, if you want to replace the cover, if you, want, if you don't like this cover, if you want to make your own, you would simply lasso it and throw it away, delete it, whatever. But if you're using the good the, the PDF file, the PDF file has been saved with the cover on it. So if you want to replace the cover on the PDF file, you'll just have to overlay the existing cover, which is fine. It'll just cover it up. All right, so the first page you come to is the page with all the lessons in it. And these are all linked you can either get to the lessons by tapping on one of these links or by tapping on the tabs because each tab represents one of the lessons and that's how you'll jump over to it. And let's see, in order to use the links to tap over, you're going to want to activate the read only tool. And I'm sorry if, I, if you're seeing the top of my head too much. I have my iPad here and I have my I'm mirroring it on my computer screen and then my cam is just above the computer screen. Okay, so now that I've activated the read-only tool, all the links are live on the page now. So I'm just going to go to the first lesson by tapping the number one. And now you see you've got a television here and it says press the play button. So this will take you to the classroom. And of course, there's a play button for each lesson on each lesson page. Okay, all right, and then you've got all this room here to take your notes while you're watching the lessons. All right, and something else that you can do with this, I have given you a spot to add something that's a course you're taking or something that you want to add to it. Uh, other YouTube videos, you can link them right here. I teach you all of that in the course too. I teach you how to add your own course links or video links or URL website pages, things like that. I teach you that in the course. So I think you're going to get a lot out of this. And I've given you a notebook to use to do it. So you don't even have to be an eye planner and this is all free. All right, so I want to show you one more thing. Well, actually two more things. All of these tabs are blank. You can label them for whatever you're going to use them for. And I teach you how to do that in the course too. And of course, they're all live. You can put whatever you want behind them. I'll just tap on the first one. 
Another thing I teach you in the course is how to add dashboards to these tabbed pages. So I teach you how to label the tabs and I teach you how to add dashboards to the pages. Okay, and then, then the last thing I'm gonna show you is, and we'll just go to the, out, the uh, thumbnail view for this. There are extra note pages included in the notebook and these pages can be duplicated as many times as you want and you can put them behind the lesson tabs or you can put them behind the blank custom tabs and that's how you can probably create this create your own planner with this notebook just by adding widgets to the pages so i mean it's very versatile very customizable and it gives you a little sneak peek sample of what the eye planners are like they're very very high in quality they all are consistent year after year so the spirals are the same the page sizes are the same the tabs are the same so anything you do in a previous year you can move into your new upcoming year very easily by lassoing everything, copying and pasting it right to your new planner. So that's one of the promises that I have made from year one is that it will always be consistent. It will never change in size. I add templates and colors and, and, and more pages and things like that to it, but I never change the bones of the planner, the structure of it. All right, so that's everything about the planner. Let me jump back to lesson one because now what we want to do is go back to the classroom and I'm going to show you how to do that. So to go back to the classroom I am going to make sure that I'm in read-only mode and I'm going to tap on the television and it's going to ask me if I want to go to the external link and of course I do. And here we are we're in the classroom. So now to do the side-by-side -side multitask windows I am going to go to my good notes icon and I'm just going to tap and hold and drag it over to the side. So I can do two different things as I'm watching videos. I can move this screen over to give me a little bit more room on the classroom or in the classroom. And let me just show you how the videos play here on your iPad. Let's see. I'm going to go Let's go ahead and play number five, lesson number five. Hello and welcome back to iDay, where we're setting up our new digital planners to have the most productive year ever. All right, so this... And of course, you can start and stop just by tapping on the player and you can stop it. While you're watching the video, you can zoom in. Take screenshots if you want to save something that's in the video. You can copy and paste it. After you take the screenshot, you can paste it onto the lesson page. So let's slide this over so we can talk a little bit more about the, uh, the class notebook. All right, so let's just say you took a screenshot of something in the video real fast and that automatically save to your camera roll. So what you're going to do is open it up on the lesson page that the lesson that you're on. Of course, I'm on lesson one, but I activated lesson five. And all you'll have to do is just put it on this page. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Sometimes I like to make images really small and I'll make a gallery of the images and I'll make them small. But when I want to look at them, I'll tap on them and make them nice and big, look at what I want to look at, see what I want to see, and then I'll make them back small again so that I just have this nice thumbnail gallery on my page so I could have as many on my page as I would like. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is taking notes side by side inside the planner while you have the video page open. And I usually, when I am in a class and when I'm watching the video, like I said, I make the window a little bit bigger and I watch the video. And when there's something I want to take notes on, I'll stop the video and I'll slide this over ever so slightly. Make sure my pen tool is activated. And the way I like to take notes in my digital planners 
is I press and hold and I tap zoom. That way my page, I can still view every area and every spot on the page, but I have this nice comfortable area to write. And then I've got this area down here to rest my, my wrist on the iPad. So let me just go ahead and start taking notes. Whoops. Sorry again, you're watching the top of my head. While I view the class. And so now I'm done taking that note. Generally, I'd leave that open till the end of the video, but I just want to show you. See how nice those notes rendered. And now I'll go back to the video and start watching the video again. Let's see, got to center this up a little bit. There. So you can move move all that around and like I said you can zoom in on the video you can't do that on YouTube you can't you, you can't zoom in on that okay so that's it that's all I wanted to show you if you're already signed up for the course and you didn't realize there was a notebook go grab you that notebook um, if you are have been through the class and you didn't realize that you could do it side by side go ahead and save these things to your bookmarks in your Safari and um, it, the classroom and then get your notebook all set up inside your good notes so that you can go back you can go back and review your notes you can go back and review the videos and like I said check back often because I am adding I'm adding to the course consistently as I think of things I'm putting them in the course because I want this course to be everything from A to Z, everything that you would want to know about setting up your new planner, about starting to digital plan. Okay, guys, I hope I didn't keep you too long. Thank you for joining with me and thank you for sticking with me throughout the whole video. Until next time, you have an outstanding day. Oh, be sure to subscribe and be sure to like this video if it did any good for you. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,